Hey, cute stuff. Welcome to another collective message with me, Duchess. We're about to find out what's really going on right here, right now. Ooh, so it looks like here. Spirit is saying here that there's someone that's watching you, okay? And they have... This person has a lot of demons on them, baby. I have to say what it is, okay? And it looks like these are demons that have to do with lust, okay? That have to do with dark passions and desires here. Because we got here this exorcist card. And somebody needs to face their demons is what Spirit is saying. And the demons they need to face here is about this lust and this desire and this manipulation that they do. So this is somebody that uses lust and desire as a manipulation tactic. Okay, and so Spirit is saying that this type of person is watching you. Okay, you see she got that little eye going through the book like they're they're spying on you. They're trying to figure out information about you. They're watching you. All right. I feel like for the most part, they may be watching you online because we got this networker card. And so it's like this person has a lot of demons on them. And it looks like they plan to try to pass some of these on to you so they watching and trying to find the perfect time and opportunity to do this and i don't feel like you're gonna be interested in getting this person's demons here okay i don't think you're interested in they 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 really want to use some sort of attraction or romantic delusions or just use some sort of mind game seduction here it could also be a non-romantic but this person it looks very romantic like they're trying to use some sort of spice here to reel you in and so they watching you to look for the perfect opportunity or they're watching you to decide how they want to come with this offer but Whatever this is, it's not really looking like a healthy offer here, okay? Because I don't feel like whatever these demons is they got, I feel like this ain't got nothing to do with you, you know? Welcome to another collective with me, Duchess. We're going to find out what really needs to come out right here, right now. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. And if you want to book with me or leave a donation, you can do that down in the comments or the description box divinationduchess.com now let's see what's really going on here look see spirit is saying this person plans to message you or talk to you or come up to you but this is going to concern you you already going to feel that something is off so this could be one of those thirst buckets you know those people that be good morning queen and being all thirsty in the dms you get what i'm saying and Ain't, ain't talking about nothing, but act like they talking about everything here. This could be somebody that you actually know. Somebody you've already cut off and, and turned down and said, no, thank you. So this is why it's concerning because why are you trying again? Okay. It could be concerning just because you're not interested <laughs> at the end of the day. But when you look at this message or when you get this, this, um, communication, you're going to be like, mm, I don't know. This ain't feeling right. This ain't seeming right. Something is off. Okay. You're going to be feeling off about because you know they fake as hell. Exactly. Period. Okay. You're going to know that something is fake, fraudulent, and false about this person. And so this is why it's concerning to you because you like, I know they don't have the nerve to step to me, try to play games with me, try to act like I'm going to get reeled into this nonsense to act like I want to fight off their demons, join, get them passed off. You're not interested. Okay. You're not interested. We got here. This is why it's concerning because you know what they up to and you like, this is garbage, this is trash, it's fugazi, it's fake, and it's false, period, okay? So this person is wasting a lot of their personal time right now watching you and plotting on you and having fantasies about these plots, ooh, okay? Some of them having fantasies of seeing you doing like a strip tease and stuff, I don't know. But look, this person here is really wasting their time watching and plotting because you're going to see right through it. It, 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 you're going to see right through it, <laughs> there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, okay? And so spirit is saying that you're going to end up leaving them in a poverty state because they getting themselves hyped up right now. Okay. They getting themselves hyped. They getting themselves excited. You know, they just might say, yes, you know, I might just be in there like swimwear, you know, things might really happen. It might really go in my favor. Some of these fantasies might come true. You might want to, you know, just reply and let them think it is possible oh good morning <laughs> okay and then as soon as they come with the bs actually no thank you actually not interested 
Okay, and so this person is gonna be feeling like they left in poverty and not getting what they desired and what they wanted was to try to pass their demons off on you. No, just because they full of lust, okay, just because they can't control their humanly urges, that doesn't mean you're gonna be sitting here and fulfilling their urges. Who the hell are they? Who said you were interested? Who said you wanted any? You you don't. And this reminds me of this dream. As a matter of fact, it was probably this dream was for this because I had a dream last night, baby, okay? And this dude, but it was one of my exes, he kept and he kept trying to offer something. And I let him know, I don't want none of that thing because I know you be out in these streets and I know it's tainted and diseased, okay? And he got a little attitude with me in the dream and popped off and I really did not care at the end of the day. So I feel like this is you. This person's going to be getting attitude and, and either going to pop off or just ghost or just move around. But that's what you want them to do because you don't want none of it you see the demons they got when it comes to this you don't want none of it you like keep that nasty energy over there okay keep that tainted diseased energy keep all that stuff over there because i don't want none of it yes and so spirit is saying this is funny <laughs> this person it thinks they coming in for sudden wealth okay jackpot i'm about to get it i'm about to get in there i got this and you're like, actually, no, okay? You're not getting anything. You're going to dead the situation. You're going to end the situation as soon as they come in with this because the offering's not even good. You know what the offering is, okay? Some tainted stuff. you like, I, I, I'm not really interested in this. How many people you contacted this morning, okay? Or, or, or how many people you interested in? Why are you chasing after people? What's going on? You got questions. That's why you're concerned because you like, why would I feed into this when it seems all from the start, all from the beginning? So this person's going to get their feelings hurt because they're going to be sitting around watching and getting hyped and thinking that this is going to happen. And then as time prevails and they try to talk to you and try to get it to happen, it's not happening. And now they sick. Now they sad. Now they feeling impoverished. Mm. Well, they should have thought about that for, before coming in fake. Okay. Spirit is saying here that this person... Is going to try to apologize. What? For what? They may try to apologize after you tell them no. You know what I'm saying? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to offend you. Or they may try to, if there's somebody you know, they may be trying to apologize just to try to get in there. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, see, for some of you, Spirit is saying if it's an ex, they're going to try to use an apology to get up in here. That's what they're doing. But the apology is fake, fraudulent, and false. And you know this, so you're not going to be falling for that. Okay, tell us, Spirit, what about the others here that's not an ex? What's they? Who Spirit is saying here that these people, <laughs> they're going to be anxious about <laughs> connecting with you, okay? That this person is going to have to realize that they got to surrender here because they're very anxious about you wanting them, responding to them, contacting them like they worry, they doubtful, they stress. So then when you say no, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, first they real confident, then they like, well, I don't really know what's going to happen. I hope they say yes. And then it's like a hell to the no. Then they like, oh crap, I embarrassed myself. I'm looking a fool out in these streets. And now they feel impressed. But I mean, hey, they took the risk. Sometimes all risks don't pay off. Yes. This is what they're going to have to be looking out for, baby. Turmoil is coming ahead. They're going to feel anxious, stressed. They're going to be feeling rejected, okay? Uncared about it, unloved. But they wasn't spreading love. They were spreading other things. I keep hearing desire and disease, nastiness, mental anguish, stress, okay? I mean, they might be able to pass a couple of O's, but Spirit said, no, they're an enemy. You got to watch your back of this person. They are literally an enemy. And so this is why you're not falling for whoever this is plans to use you dry, suck you dry, get all your good juices and get all your good energy and then leave you high and dry and, and, and move on to the next or do whatever they do or flip flop around. This person is playing games. OK, and this is because they're not even running themselves. They're getting ran by their demons here that make them focus on seduction and all this other stuff. And this is making them watch you and stalk you and, and, and wait for the opportunity to reel you into this plot. And you're not going to be getting reeled in because as the card said, you're going to notice it's fake, phony, false, and fraudulent straight from the beginning. Okay? You can like, share, comment, subscribe, follow all of that good stuff. If you want to leave a donation, book with me. You can do that linked below in the comments or the description box. You can also check out the merch on my website, divinationduchess.com.
Bye.